is going to be a day exploring the island of Cozumel, an island of Tulum or Mexico, one of them, I'm not 100% sure. So me and Carmen, we've got an adventure, we've got our guy in the back, say hello. Hello friends, my name is Charlie Brown, Francisco. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got a tour guide in the back today and we're just venturing out, we're doing some dune bugging, we're doing some snorkeling, we're taking some nice drives, we're doing a lot. We're so, in the car, they can't see the car but the wheel, the sides have been taken off, look. Yeah, we're in some madness right now, the truck is a little bit crazy. So we're going to be just doing some loads of off-roading, snorkeling, eat some good food. So I'm going to show you exactly what we're doing, so let's get it. So me and Calm's at the central plaza right now and is the home of the Mayas. So the Mayas is the civilization that was around before what's presently around in Mexico right now. And we are so excited to meet one as we've been invited to meet one. And I don't know, the, the site that we've gone to is gone to show that they're actually really smart and advanced. And they're really smart and advanced and they're really scientific and they've like, they're the main things of what life is built on. Like I Astronomy, which Astronomy. is like the space. Yeah, it's actually crazy, but I'm really excited. And also the tour guide today, here he is. He's been an absolute gem. Hola, You're hola. coming around here. I could He's not advise amazing. Nacho anymore. Respect, my man. <laughs> Thank you so much. So we're going to meet him now. I'm so excited. So let's go meet an original Maya. All right, so we're on Cosmo right now, and we are with an original Maya. So the site that we're looking at is actually belonging to the Mayans. Uh, how old? 50 How tall? Years. 50 years. 50 years? 50 years. So back then the Mayas were really small as you can see. And my guy is 90% Mayan. And that is crazy. Respect bro. It is so good meeting you. So the last time we went boogie and we was in Dubai and it went absolutely crazy because Carmen ended up to tip the boogie and... I got stuck in the desert guys <laughs> and I, I literally started panicking because I was like oh my god like I haven't got enough food here there's nothing around you in the desert so obviously you panic I think it's just as scary as getting lost in the sea yeah it's crazy I had it's no mad. phone signal yeah it was mad but uh, this time we're going boogie in in Mexico and do you know what I feel like giving up some smoke so you might see some smoke from myself. Also, I want to add this in, it's not relevant, but I beat him and called out at Jet Ski. All right, hey guys, uh, let's just do it. I right? tried to tell you this time. 2020 wood. Yeah, show him I can still rap though. First I was renting, now I'm collecting rent First it with the Beamer, now I want the Benz Spending all the back, like here I go again Outside says the chirp, not a camera phone Told you I'ma make, keep the channels on Why you acting different when the camera's on? Why you acting different like your paper long? Eight-day wake-up Alright, anyway, people That's the quad bike, you're done Now, Jesus Christ Tequila! Let's drink some tequila! Let's go! Alright, so we've literally just got into the tequila tour and I've never seen so much tequila in my whole entire life. Have a look at this. This is scary. I'm not a big drinker and tequila's one of them, yeah, where I'm on a night out. Alright, let's go crazy. Tequila's the one you're obviously banging through, you know what I'm saying? But I'm just gonna be honest. This amount of tequila is a little bit intimidating and apparently we're going to have a few shots so let's see I what goes down. We have a little shots of big shots. Here's the guy by the way. Oh. My guy. Danny, right? Danny. My guy. <laughs> He's basically going to get drunk so let's go. Alright, so this tequila here is seven years in the barrel. And that's why it's that colour. Which is why it's that colour. So yeah, like the size behind it is this is tequila straight from the plant, but not in a barrel. And all these have been left in the barrel, but from different times. This one is 23 years old. That is absolutely insane. So, let's do what we gotta do. Okay, so apparently the bright weight isn't with lemon and salt. We swig it, and then we breathe out. So, seven years old. Let's do it. How was that? That is different. That is nice. <laughs> That's good tequila, isn't it? Yeah, that is actually really nice. Do you taste the difference? It's not like, it doesn't taste like this. Like... No. It's... Welcome to the real world of tequila. I kind of want to say it doesn't taste as 
strong. But I know yeah. it's tequila. It doesn't yeah. taste as like, you know, very hot. It tastes completely different to the one where you're in the club yeah, and you're like, yo, give me tequila. That yeah. one kind of hits you like a burning sensation. Yeah. This is a lot smoother. Yeah. 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 Oh, this 100% organic, no chemicals at all. That's why. This is crazy. All right, on to the next. <laughs> Oh, that looks special. That looks, that really looks cool. very, very special. There we go. Oh, that looks like my kind of drink. Okay. Ready? Enjoy, guys. Wow. wow. That's so nice. This one over ice cream, marbles. I could have this in an ice cream. Really. That's unbelievable. <laughs> That is unbelievable. What is the name of this? Cream of coffee. Or Kangel we call it. Cream of coffee. Is that made here? Is that tequila? It has to be one. There's a combination of cream of coffee. Feel a bit tipsy right now. <laughs> Not gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so the tequila was that good. I felt like we had to get a bottle. I picked up the coffee chocolate one because that is absolutely unbelievable. So And you bought tequila shot glasses. And I bought tequila shot glasses. So this is my new best friend. I'm gonna make a lot of very good memories. <laughs> okay, tequila tour over. That has been an absolute experience. Now we're gonna go to do some, I don't know, yeah, maybe some snorkeling, some of this, some of that, so let's get it done, let's go. You're doing it right now. I'm doing it. Alright guys, so we are now getting some lunch before we go snorkeling and um, I just want to give you a little update because we're here, we uh, had obviously the tequila shots probably about 20 minutes ago and someone's not feeling so good. The thing with Carms, yeah, is when she drinks, she gets this thing called Asian Glow. I'm sure a lot of people, if you're Asian, you'll know about this, but my girl right here suffers quite severely with this. Take a quick look into the camera, my girl. Damn it. I mean, let's, let's just have a look. Let's just have a look at this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's just have a look. So I don't know if you can see up close, but that is uh, the effect of the tequila, isn't it? No. Yeah, it is, it is. So we're literally just getting some lunch before. This is what we had for lunch. It looks absolutely unbelievable. It's a bass of fish with rice, vegetables. We've been a little bit cheeky recently, so we felt like we needed something a bit healthy. Last night was a bit crazy. We had burger, we had chips, we had chocolate, but we got back, it got a little bit crazy. Like We got. We had a prawn burger. Yeah, a prawn burger, a shrimp burger. I didn't take a picture. I did. Did we take a picture? All right. Here's the picture and video that Calm's got because she loves taking pictures of her food. She's a content creator. We're literally just chilling now, having lunch, but now we are going to go snorkeling, hopefully see some absolute madness. I'm going to try and take my phone underwater as well to get some sick content for you guys. So, on to some snorkeling. Big peace, big vibes. Let's get it. Three, two, one. That was absolutely unbelievable. This place is like paradise, and like apparently during COVID right now, it's not that busy. So I can imagine it is booming whenever it's open. But honestly, I could not recommend this place enough. The people, the food, the sea, even the fish, they're nice, they're friendly, they don't bite you and all that business. So it's absolutely beautiful. But I hope you enjoyed today's vlog. Peace and love and big vibes. And of course, on to the next.